one thing that you got to do uh, if you're trying to live a Christian life, there's one thing that you've got to do when you're feeling like I'm feeling right now with a GFI receptacle in a bathroom and you hadn't started your day out right in prayer, you just got to stop and pray. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that you'd help me, Lord. Lord, give me the, the, uh, the will and the grace that I need today to fix this GFI receptacle, Lord, in this bathroom. Lord, I thank you for safety, and I thank you, Lord God, for the, for the inventions and creations of men, Lord God. But I just ask that you would just uh, make them just work a little bit better. I ask and I ask that you'd help me with this today. And give you praise, Father, in Jesus' name. And bless everybody that's watching this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, now let me show you what I'm doing. This is my bathroom. And don't blame Julie. I've got it messy in here. And this thing here. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I wasn't really shocked. But uh, you see that wire right there? That wire right there. <laughs> now, anyway, I'm just all kidding aside. Uh, GFI receptacle goes there. And um, it quit working. And I'm hoping it's not one of my other uh, receptacles on the outside. Because my boy plugged his guitar PA, 100 amp PA head in there. And, it's, and it was an old one. And there went a mm, like that. And then this thing kicked off, and it controls. It's on the same circuit with three other breakers and the uh, other end of the bus. So I've got to, I've got to go buy one of these. I had another new one that I picked up when I did that clean out the other day, but it evidently don't work either. And you press the reset button, and it don't press in. Don't press in. Don't press in. And if it don't lock in and stay in it won't work but anyway this is it right here and uh when you're hooking these taking these out and hooking them in if you work with one wire at a time you can work with it live and you won't get shocked but now if you touch these two wires together it'll shock you and if you touch uh these two wires together and you're barefoot in water it will hurt you so be sure you know that. But anyway, let me get the, here's the old receptacle and see it, see it don't, it's supposed to, when you push it in, it's supposed, that top's supposed to kick out. You're supposed to push that in and hold it and it's supposed to reset. And it's not doing that and the new one I had wasn't doing that. So I'm gonna go get another new one and see if I can get that to work. And if that ain't the problem, I'm going to change that receptacle out there. And if that ain't the problem, I'm going to pray again and get that uh, electrician friend of mine. Praise God. But anyway, that's what's going on right now. I'm fixing to head to Home Depot's. And in the Home Depot there, Home Depot, he helped me out. I asked the electrician in there about GFI receptacles, a man who looked like he knew what he was doing, and he couldn't really tell me about GFI receptacles. And then I asked an older gentleman that works here at Home Depot, and he told me all about them. He said, don't take the tape off. If you take the tape off, you won't know which side sends the power. And that's what he said. So what I'm going to do is get back. Thanks. Look at that shake disappear. <laughs> when your mama sees this footage, she's going to kill us because... We wasn't supposed to stop and eat, but we did. Well, we're hungry, so we have to. That's right. <laughs> now I gotta find my hand sanitizer.
<laughs> you know, people don't wash their hands no more. You know that? People don't wash their hands, they just sanitize them. Yeah. You know that, don't you? That's why they got sanitized in the bathroom. Some people don't sanitize their Nobody hands. Nobody just washes their hands no more. Nobody sanitizes their hands sometimes. I heard Some a special, uh, special radio nasty. program on that one time. Ha uh ha. -huh. Anyway, I'm just trying to. <laughs> All right then. All right.